Heritage Academy looks like Independence Hall for a reason. It is a physical expression of our dedication to the Constitution and the ideals and values of the Founding Fathers. Our students will learn more about the Founding Fathers than they would at any other school, and that's important. They just have opportunities to learn things that I think they're not going to anywhere else. Specifically with learning about their own country, where they live, how it got started, why the people who were part of that did what they did. One of my favorite classes is probably history, just learning how the effect of the past history can now affect the future and how we can change it, how we have the opportunity to change it. It really is so cool to learn what they believed and how that influenced how they created our nation and what it means to us today. I've seen that most people at Heritage will, if they see somebody who's just sitting alone at a table, they'll go to them. When I first came to the school, it was halfway through the year, and I was really worried that I wouldn't have any friends because I, the only person I knew here was my brother. And it was amazing. I didn't know anybody, but the first day, there were people coming up to me asking me, hey, come sit with us at lunch, and um, wanting to get to know me. and. It was really um, surprising to me at how fast friendships just came. I immediately had no problem making friends. I found my group of friends and I immediately went to them and they brought me in like I'd been their best friend for five years already. The fact that I was able to make friends really easily and really quickly was amazing for me. The issues with um, bullying, things like that, it's really non-existent here. Once you come here, you're one of us and we treat you like family and we protect you and we have fun with you. And that I think there are so many kids here that if they were somewhere else, they wouldn't have the experience they have here. What we want to do is provide the highest quality education for our students. And that's why we look for the most highly qualified teachers. I think you'd be hard pressed to find a better group of teachers in a school. They typically are very helpful um, to the students whenever they need help. They say, well, you can come and talk to me at this time. You can come talk to me here. You can email me. They give us their emails. They interact with you in a way that makes you feel safe and comfortable and it's easy to learn from them. It's not just lecturing all the time. It's not just going up in front of them and then teaching something and then you'll forget it later. You actually think about it and you have something in mind for the rest of the day. Uh, favorite class at Heritage? I have to say is probably the Kempo martial arts class. It really just allows you to get your energy out before you go to the other classes so you're not really fidgety in the other classes. I love that we offer um, the arts in this way for the students. Um, I think it's a great thing for them to have the opportunity um, to be able to learn dance and ballroom in this type of setting. I really like my choir class a lot. Our director, Mrs. Albretson, is very professionally trained and she teaches us to sing the same way. My favorite thing about Heritage, should we state the obvious, the four day a week? That's, uh, that's a definite positive, not only for the kids, but for the teachers too. Uh, believe it or not, one of my favorite things is that we have uniforms at the school. And that sounds really crazy, but I really like them because it gives me the comfort of knowing that I won't come to school seeing people wearing things that are not um, pleasing to me. I also like them because I don't have to decide what to wear in the morning. I can just throw it on. <laughs> My children came here and then I served on the PTO and I began substitute teaching and then I became an employee and that was 16 years ago and I would never want to work anywhere else and I know that this would be the best place for my children and and hopefully my grandchildren. Scholars here become really good friends. It's a smaller environment so they get to know each other really well. They've got classes all together. These are kids who are friends that become family. It's a really relaxed community and it's everybody's really nice and friendly to each other. The way that the students all treat each other, it's, it's a very friendly environment. It's so easy to fit in. Go to any table and you can sit and just have a good conversation with anyone. Because of the dual enrollment options that they have here, there's also a number of college level courses that they can already be taking and get college credit for right here on this campus. When you leave here, you are going to be someone who steps right into the, to the shoes of a college student without any of the stumbling that some of the rest of us have to do when we get to college. So there are schools, many of them, and you can choose to send your kids to them for whatever reason you want to. But just because you go to school doesn't mean you're being educated. But if you leave Heritage Academy, you've gone through school like you have to 
but you also leave educated, which is an extraordinary advantage over most people today. I'm jealous. I wish that I could have gone to a Heritage Academy when I was in high school.